ghost is still voted voted the wind is moaning the thunder crumbling rumbling deep in the hills seems a perfect night for another ghost story doesn't it we shall have one a one about the ghost of stone roses it all started one day for the latin countries when a young man we shall call philippe arrived at the house of a family we shall call medez philippe arrived just as a folk of flower vendor was leaving carrying a bunch of roses now philippe had ordered the flowers sent and actually inquired as to why they have not been delivered, the vendor told him, Senorita Mendez. The daughter of the house had refused them, saying she knew no one by the name which her pity attached to the card. Pepe scoffed, but to the astonishment when the girl opened the door, she all for pity, she had never laid eyes on him, never wished to do so again, and slammed the door in his face. Pepe staggered to the street where the vendor waited. Didn't she accept the flowers? He had sent yesterday, the day before, the flower vendor nodded assent to the question. Of course he had delivered them himself. Pippi stamped off down the street, cursing men, womankind in general. Two days passed when Pippi strode comfortably up to the door of Mendez's house, this time carrying the flowers himself. Senior Marie Mendez came to the door, this time occupied by her, fa- by her father, again ordered him away. Pippi lost his temper, shouting so the neighbours could hear. He said that he had not forgotten he had forgotten the rejection of him two days ago, but when she had met him in the park the evening before, by the house, set it in good faith. Reed screamed she had not been in the park the evening after before at all. Father into the rat feared. The fight began, and soon Fairfi found himself in the custody of the local police. Fairfi demanded a flower vendor to be brought to the jail. Then the came and stoutly insisted he had delivered Philippe's first two Buckets of roses to the fair Mendez place, and Reed has directed both of them. Reed just uh, slightly denied it. Local council baffled, turned for Philippe loose, washed his hands of the whole thing. It all came to a head the next evening. Loud screams attracted neighbourhood to the Mendez house. There's a nice Philippe in the act of strangling Maria to death. But also, he was in a medical range, screaming at Marie and met him in the street that evening again, invited to the house, again rejected him. Senor Montez rushed for the house with his pistol just as the neighbour arrived and shot Philippe dead, just in, not in time to save Marie. There was much mourning for Marie, but little for Philippe, the murdering stranger. The funeral procession came to the tiny graveyard the next morning. Marie was to be buried beside her twin sister, Giulietti, who had died five years before. Then father and mother Montez stopped staring. On Juventus' grave lay two burgrets of flower roses, but who had brought them here? None of the family had been to the grave for years. Giugioletti had died in disgrace, been a jealous and vindictive girl. Finally, Senior Mendez bent over to look at the flowers. He turned over the little cards, detached them gingerly, and read the names. Both of the prints bore the name Philippe. Oh, but, ah, oh, but they argued about it for years, the little town. Do you agree with the matter? Some say that Ghost and Letty, always jealous of Marie, played the mean trick on her sister, even doing going as far as the peer of my daughter to see the first two bouquets from the flower vendor. Others insist that Philippe placed the flowers here himself. They say perhaps he was mad as witness his religious rage. A year before he known both sisters, and somehow forgotten two of them and confused his tangled mind. Since after all they were twins and so on. But now the someone could be invented. Tell me, what do you think?